anyone can apply to be a driver, but the selection process will be based on a number of principles that give us a variety of different types of people. For example, we're looking for different lifestyles, we're looking for different ages, we're looking for different amounts of experience with adaptive cruise control or different attitudes towards uh, autonomous driving technology in general. It's about collecting real data from real people on real roads. And we're using a Swedish model of collaboration which involves the private sector, the public sector, and academia. And we're applying that to different countries. Volvo has a robust plan to deliver unsupervised autonomous driving by 2021. That consists of three main projects. One is Drive Me, which is taking the human-centric approach, uh, understanding customers' needs and expectations. The second is a joint venture with Autoliv, and that's developing the software needed. And the third is a partnership with Uber, which is developing the hardware needed. For us, developing autonomous driving is all about understanding people's needs. Ordinary people experiencing the technology, getting to uh, relax, getting to, to understand what its limitations are, that kind of thing.